I'm pharmacist Rory Blake. I'm taking my after dinner walk and I've come up to the uh, Andrew Jackson Memorial in North Carolina. You know I live in South Carolina, I'm crossed into North Carolina. It looks like somebody's tried to somebody's tried to looks like somebody's tried to take uh, Andrew Jackson's name off of it. Andrew Jackson was a great man. He was born here. Um, this is how you know this is the real area he was born in because it's on the top of a ridge. And off to every side of it is is erosion. I mean, it's where they had farmland back in those days. They didn't very do a very good job of preserving it. And so uh, that upsets me. But anyway, um, you know why people think that Andrew Jackson was bad? Was because of the Trail of Tears. But you know what? If he hadn't have got them out of here, they'd have killed them people. So he's probably a hero, and it's just the way you look at it. I mean, some people would just look at it that he was mean to Indians, but actually he might have done the best by them he possibly could. So it's always a different way of looking at things. And what else has been on my mind has been the uh, things I've talked about the last two days, that we're 99% the same as chimpanzees going on our DNA, and that 100% of the difference between humans and, and, and uh, chimpanzees is in the the microbiome and so um, we have I think chimpanzees have four dozen uh, different uh, bacteria that live in their microbiome they don't have the ones that allow them to make speech but they have you know a couple things but we have a whole lot more capability and a whole lot more ability to to do great things than they do because we have more neurotransmitters and and uh, uh, precursors and and uh, chemical intermediates to the to the compounds that make us human, and uh, and these bacteria are little chemical factories that help us get going and, and do the work of uh, being a human, and that really upsets me about that thing. I mean, that's just awful that they came in and chipped away at his name. But anyway, it's how you look at things, and and uh, I, I uh, was thinking about the people that are that are big followers of the other party, or one political party, and uh, they're, they appear to be making people into chimpanzees because the kind of leaders that chimpanzees follow are the, are the kind that they're selecting themselves. Um, it's funny that uh, chimpanzees don't care if, the, if the, uh, the alpha male is rude to women or, or children or, or is, is not monogamous or or uh, all these things that we care about because we have these extra neurotransmitters that they don't have and are important things that are important to us aren't important to them and so that's the reason that they select people like uh, the uh, orange man who who, who uh, to them is the thing that makes chimpanzees happy is following the leader and whoever the leader is is the one that they're gonna follow and I think I'm gonna leave it at that tonight um, I had a whole lot of things to say um, but uh, um, I think that's enough actually that uh, as we turn into chimpanzees and, and uh, that side of the political aisle does things to make us turn into chimpanzees to hurt our ability to be human, uh, to get everybody mad, to get everybody riled up, to get everybody stirred up and to, to get on the chimpanzee mode, uh, it helps them. But you know what? We're not going to fall for it. Being human is too important. But 100% of the difference between humans and chimpanzees is in the microbiome. And uh, of course, our lymph system is different too because we have 400 lymph nodes and, and, uh, and, and a direct line to the brain. So it's easy to get neurotransmitters from the gut where they're made to the brain. So anyway, thank you so much for your help. That's the reason they call it gut feels. And, you know. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of funny how, how, how there's a lot of... Uh, uh, truth and in, in, in urban legends and and things that we were taught as, as small people But the more more microbiome bacteria you have the smarter you are and um, the Little kids that are passing around kids when they're small and the ones that don't go to uh, the, the ones that hang around with other children other children are great places to get germs you can still 
uh, and enlarge your microbiome till about six years old, something like that. So if you keep kids in home schools, then they don't get the microbiome to make them intelligent. So uh, uh, if, you cut, if you cut education, you're gonna get a lot of little chimpanzees, which is uh, evidently what uh, certain people want. So anyway, I'm gonna let it go at that. And not, like I said, I'm sorry for rambling, but uh, um, there's, a, there's a different way to look at about everything. Thank you for your time.